It's winter time folks and for most parts of the country when things get cold engines are harder to start. Many people have asked me okay why is an engine so hard to start in the winter time and it's really a combination of several things. So let's talk about those. The first is the nature of combustion itself. When you're trying to burn gasoline you're counting on the gasoline being volatile, being able to evaporate and under cold conditions gasoline doesn't evaporate as well and so you're having a hard time building up enough fuel to support combustion for the thing to actually actually go ignite. What the gasoline companies often do or can do depending on what part of the country you're in is change the winter blend to have more volatile components in the gasoline during the winter time to help support better starting when it's cold. In addition if you think about this, what's going on is you're trying to ignite this stuff inside this huge chunk of steel, your engine block. And every time you do get an explosion, where's that heat going? It's getting sucked up by the metal that's there. It's not enhancing any heat in the area to help with more volatility of more fuel going in. So part of the challenge is that you've got a big chunk of steel that's absorbing all the heat when you're trying to start it. Now you're gonna compound that by the fact that when you crank your engine, your engine is directly connected to your oil pump. So now your oil pump is trying to pump oil throughout your engine as you're trying to start it. And if that oil is thick and heavy, you can just imagine it's creating that much more work for that engine to do as it cranks it around. So oil viscosity makes a huge difference in starting. And then another factor that comes in is your battery. Batteries lose efficiency when they get really, really cold. So you have less electrical energy going to that little starter motor that's trying to start your gas engine. So just like everybody I work with, nobody wants to work when it's cold out, right? What can you do about all of these things? Well, in addition to making sure you're not burning last summer's fuel in your engine and that you've got a fuel with good volatility, you can be sure to use the proper viscosity engine oil. The OEMs anymore have low viscosity engine oils and they're expecting that's what you're gonna have in there. And usually the lower viscosity engine oils like a 0W20 or a 5W20 can help with cold cranking, help make it go that much easier. Make sure you're operating with a topped off battery or a fresh battery, um, that's always helpful. And in some parts of the country, people have heated batteries or heaters on their engine blocks. Uh, the first time I visited Superior, Wisconsin, which is way up north there, I remember all of the downtown parking meters also had a little electrical outlets at them. And all the cars driving around had a little electrical plug coming out of the front grill. Because in a place like that, when you go to park, you plug your, your block heater in. So that's what you can do to help your car along and keep it warmed up and starting easier.